Hey everyone, Tragic MTG here, and it is mail day. I got some letters from uh, users of Cardsphere. Uh, I had ordered some cards, or I'm sorry, added to wants on Cardsphere some cards that I wanted. And uh, I'm just going to check them out, show them off, and uh, check them in. Uh, this one I actually already did check in um, a couple days ago, but I figured, hey, I better wait for some more mail to make a video out of it. So let's see what I got here. Um, I've been messing around on Arena with this card right here, having a blast with it. It's not tier one, but it is fun. Safara Skies Blade, four and three white for a 7-7 legendary angel with flying and lifelink and other creatures you control with flying have indestructible hard to cast right except for that other ability you can pay one white and tap four untapped creatures you control with flying rather than pay this spell's mana cost I'm having a blast I can actually get this out on turn three and have it sit there and make my other creatures indestructible um, so I wanted to mess around and make an actual physical deck out of it and uh, here's another piece of it hanged executioners so got uh, that in the mail the other day already did check it in and uh, see if I can uh, smash up my friends with it uh, let's see next envelope here uh, has not been checked in but I did open it and then I decided wait I better get this on camera right this one from Norfolk Virginia and I'm always interested on how the different users on cards for your package their cards. Now I actually put a little piece of tape inside so it wouldn't move around and then it was hard to get out. It was funny. Um, and then there's masking tape and a couple of uh, top loaders taped together, stuffed with cards. More pieces for my Safara deck here. Let's open them up and take a look. When I ship these through cards here, I like to put like a piece of, uh, like a post-it note, like a paper over there. You never put tape right on the top here. Um, then the cards will slip out and actually touch it and get ruined. Potentially as much as I'm tr almost ruining these Empyrean Eagles right now. Another piece of the component, Bird Spirit. Flying, other creatures you control with flying get 1-1. One, one. And so the idea with the deck here is to get a bunch of one-drop flying creatures out first. And then uh, potentially by turn three you can actually get uh, four of them out. Tap your one white and throw out Safara. But if you don't, you can then throw an Empyrean Eagle out and pump your 1-1 one, one, one drop flyers and still do some damage with those. So those are a lot of fun too, and a little alternate win condition there. I'm going to switch over to uh, Cards for re real quick here, and I'm going to receive this package. So this one was, uh, let's see, I got the number written down here. I think it's down at the bottom here. Um, oh yeah, actually, going back, there's another package here. I got winged words. Let's open this up too, and just make sure. Getting multiple cards out of a top loader is quite a trick. I'm sure down in the comments everyone's going to tell me how I'm doing it wrong. And you know what? That's fine. Obviously I need <laughs> some guidance on how to get these cards out of this top loader. Come on. I don't want to wreck these. Yeah. yeah. I guess. Okay. Perfect. Squeeze it and get it out there. You're like screaming at me, right? Yeah, and then tape on the open end of the penny sleeve. I don't really like that so much. It's always nice if you're going to do something like this to make a little loop. You could loop over that tape and uh, then make it easier to peel off, I guess. So anyway, winged words. Um, draw a couple cards and it costs one less if you got a flying creature so that's perfect for this deck let's switch back over to card sphere this one was from Tim L 
two, three, four, Empyrean Eagles. One, two, three, four, Winged Words. I'm going to confirm receipt. You can see uh, they weren't really big dollar items, but um, he was kind enough to send them to me anyway. Um, there you go. So now at this point, since I confirm it, he gets his money in his account. That's how this works. So let's go back and open up the next package here. This one from Lancaster. I have not opened this one up yet. And there's a note for the package. Okay, so this one was a mana web. I recognize the name on this card that I just flashed through there. Um, he actually reached out to me. I think he's a viewer. And uh, we'll call him Nathan C. Thank you very much, Nathan, um, for my mana web. I'm kind of specking on this card. It's a reserveless card. Maybe it won't go up any more than it already is. Wow. Lots of frog tape on this one. But it peels off pretty good. Let's get it open there. And, all right, I'm going to try the squeeze method again. I don't deal with top loaders a whole lot, honestly. There we go. It does come out pretty easy. Weatherlight, mana web. For three, it's an artifact. Whenever any land target opponent controls is tap for mana. Tap all lands he or she controls that can produce any type of mana that land can produce. So you kind of lock them down. Oh, uh, yeah. So we he had shown me this. He sent me pictures. This has got a little bit of a, a nick on there. It's um, I actually accepted this as near mint. I don't mind it too much. When I turn around and sell it, it might be a little difficult for me to tell the next buyer that that's near mint. But it's the rest of it is really nice. The front looks perfectly good. The back just has this little this little nick here is a little bit large. It's probably gonna end up being SP. So anyway, it's a long term hold for me anyway, and I'm going to. Uh, um, hopefully I'm hoping it will go up more so that I can turn around and flip it eventually so anyway let's go back to card sphere that is Nathan right there and we're gonna confirm receipt for the mana web okay oh he left a nice note said hope you enjoy I will enjoy it okay we got one more package here Moving right along, and this one is all taped up on the back. Let's do it like that. In Providence, Rhode Island. What else we got in here? Nothing. It says, "Thank you for your order." This is more like a store than a. Uh, than an actual individual user. <laughs> oh, kind of bent it a little bit there. I hope I didn't ruin it. Kind of prefer that these have more um, of a rigid um, backer put on it. I mean, top loaders are perfectly fine. This one just had a piece of paper, basically. Um, so, uh, it's not the best. And then the tape, peeling the tape off just to open it is a little tricky. And there's more tape. Okay, this one actually has like the loop where you can then peel it. Interesting method. I actually like to put like a couple pieces of cardboard or at least that card stock would be nice. Here we got, oh, I got a free gateway plaza and a Rakdos Guildgate with my one hanged executioner. So I guess this was the the protective barrier for my one card that they sent me. So that's interesting. So here's that order from JW. Let's switch it back and I will receive 242980 right here. Confirm. Confirm. There we go. So that's my mail for today from Cardsphere. I do have some other, I'll show you, I got a couple other things that are on the way that I've not received yet, but I'm kind of specking on the the uh, Horizon Lands from Modern Horizons. I need a couple 
need to get these Siren Storm Tamers for my um, Safara deck as well. And uh, then I'll be in business, maybe. I really am no good at this game anyway, so it should be kind of a train wreck to watch it happen anyway. Anyway, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you guys watching. Here's my haul from Carsphere for today. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.